Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to Learn and Share. We have another challenge word problem. Problem six. During a fair, John spent half of his money on the first ride. He spent two dollars more than half on the second ride. He was left with thirty dollars in the end. How much money did he have at first? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Step one, understand the problem. So what is given to us? We are given that the money spent on the first ride equals half of the total money. The money spent on the second ride equals $2 plus half of the remaining money. And the money left after the second ride equals the $30. What is there to find? We have to find the total money John had at first. Step two, plan. So now let's think about the strategies. So here are all the strategies. There's draw a picture, organize lists, make a table, make a graph, act it out, look for a pattern, try check revise, number sentence, logical reasoning, solve a simple problem and work backwards. I'm going to use draw a picture and work backwards. Step three, solve. Here, I have drawn a box to show John's money. Half of the money goes to the first ride. And this is the remaining money now. Now, he spent $2 more than half on the second ride. So here is half of the remaining money. If this is half, then this one is also half. These mean, this means that these two halves are the same. Let's put two more dollars to it. So here is the money he spent on the second ride. Two dollars more than half of the remaining. And this is the money left, $30. So the money left equals $30. Now, let's use the working backwards strategy to calculate the total money. So here is the $30. Here is the two more dollars added to it. So 30 plus 2 equals $32. If this part is 32, then this part is also 32 because they are both halves. This means the total is 64. And since this part is 64, then this part also is 64 because they both are also halves. This means the total is 64 plus 64 equals 128. So John had $128 at first. Step 4. Look back and check. So if John had $128, then the money spent on the first ride would be 128 divided by 2 equals 64. And then the money spent on the second ride would be 64 divided by 2 plus 2. We did the plus 2 because he spent $2 more than half on the second ride. 
So we could write this as 32 plus 2. 64 divided by 2 equals 32. And then we added the plus 2. And that equals 34. So the money left is 128 minus 64 minus 34, which equals to 30. And this 30 was the amount he was left with in the end. So this means our answer is... Correct! Yay! We solved the problem! Do you want to try another strategy? Here I've listed all the strategies. You could choose a strategy and try to solve the problem with it. For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.